For my portion of the work in progress of the lexicon, I am working on the Max patch. We are trying to figure out a way to connect the Max to the Arduino, but also to send and receive data to the Arduino from Max. The reason why we're doing this is because the Arduino can only take one form of code at a time. So we're splitting up the code between LEDs and sensors. Andrew will be using the LED code on the Arduino, whereas I would be using the sensor code for the Max. Among the code transition, we are also trying to figure out exactly what techniques we would like to use in order for the code to be received as well as output functions. A majority of this patch is based on research of if, then, else, greater than, and or less than statements within the Max patch. There are over several different statements that Max can use, but we are testing which statements work best. The example I'm about to show you is without code. So when we are connected to the Arduino, you just click on this toggle and the data will show up through here. What we're doing down below is we're trying to separate the data between three values. With the accelerometer, it's going to do x, y, and z. And what we want those values to do is at least try to trigger something within the max patch. So what we have set up here and what we're trying to research now is which statements we want to be working with. There are a variety of different statements within max. Down here is something similar, but it's mainly focused on if and then, and this is only for one value as well as one input. As you can see, anything negative cannot be transferred through here, whereas with this one, Negative values are what trigger this command. Down here we have something else similar, but instead of focusing on the statement, we have bangs, and when this bang, the second bang is triggered, this will commence this bang to turn on the toggle as well as the sound. As you can see here, values have to be greater than 100, greater than or equal to, which essentially are the same thing. But we can go either one or two ways with this format. We can have a set value that we'd like the statement to be set at, as well as an inputting value, or we can combine x and y values together. This bottom portion right here, it's called match. Um, we're not exactly sure as to what we can do with this since we can't set this up to anything, but this will be useful for our x, y, and z values. We can, as you can see here, values 20 and 30 are preset, and this third value, which would be our z, can be anything inputted. So when I toggle this up, the values constantly change for that Z value. 